I'd like to call upon Jenny's higher self and subconscious and any other teams or collectives that would like to help us in the session today. Yes, we're here. Thank you so much. Are we able to do a body scan for the body and see what is happening to the vehicle? Yes, we're scanning now. We will do a few adjustments while she's in the session. But her body's pretty well balanced. She just needs a few adjustments here and there. Nothing major. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. We have quite a few exciting questions. We would like to know, please, about the animal kingdom in terms of crystalline bodies. What would you like us to know? Yes, see. The animals have also been developing the crystalline bodies. There are some animals who will be going to the new earth. There will be some remaining on the old earth. Those animals remaining on the old earth are still being upgraded. Their crystalline bodies are still developing. There are other animals that will be going to another 3D planet. They will not need crystalline bodies. The animals going to New Earth, many will be with their owners on the ships. They will be there for comfort, to reassure their owners and also they will need the comfort of their owners. There is so much endless space on the spaceship. It's very deceiving. When you go inside, it's massive and endless. There will be plenty of room for everyone, including the animals. The animals also have work to do on the ships, for they will help to heal people, reassure people that everything is okay. It will make people feel calmer. It will help people, they will have the animals will help people to adjust. The animals on the old earth will also be helping. They will help also to heal and calm. 
the people. They will also help the people who don't have any animals. They are very important. Very important, the animals. They have a very important role. No matter where their life contract is taking them. They all play a very important role. Their interactions with the humans, the love they provide will have a calming effect on people. Some Some of the bigger animals will even be going on the ships, the horses. The horses are, are the horses. Have a high vibration. The horses are very knowing. The horses can sense, have a heightened sense of knowing how people are feeling, their emotions. The horses are spreading high vibrations to the planet. They will also spread love and energy to the people on the ships. The Horses and the dogs can communicate. They communicate through telepathy. They have a strong connection, a very strong connection with one another. Which is why they can work together so well. All the animals are very important on the planet at this time. They are all helping to raise the vibration. And to help Guy release, they are also spreading the love that this planet needs so desperately. Thank you so much. I'm curious for those animals going to other 3D planets. Will they be accompanying their, in quotation marks, owners? Um, is that why they would be going to the 3D planets? Yes, they will be going with their owners to support them. That will be their contract. 
they wanted to be with their owners. And they also want to help others. In terms of ownership, is that a concept that continues on on the new earth? Um, I've heard many people wanting to claim that they will take ownership of animals on the new earth. What would you like us to understand about that? Animals, humans. You won't be humans as we know it here. The beings on the new earth and the animals will all be as one. They will all interact in peace together. There will be no ownership for all the animals. We'll be in union together. Everyone will be able to enjoy peace with all the animals, including the ones that we see or we, who may display more aggressive behavior in 3D. They will not display those behaviours on new earth. All will be at peace together, the vibration will be so much higher and the animals and beings will be in unison. There may be some animals that you may resonate with more than others. But all animals will be yours. All animals are for everybody to enjoy and interact with. It will be very different to how it is here in 3D. It will be so much more loving, trusting and understanding. The animals will not be afraid of you. They will spread love to all as you all will as well. There is much to look forward to the new earth, including all the beautiful animals, and there will be new animals that we have not seen here in 3D. so much for you to be 
excited for and to look forward to. Thank you so much. I'm assuming that the relationships between uh, the crystalline bodies that were experiencing human lifetimes and the animal crystalline bodies that were experiencing being in quotation marks pets here now um, would have a different dynamic on the new earth. Can you give me an example of how Jenny and her beloved cat um, I, what's their dynamic going to be? Can you help us? You will be able to communicate with your animals on the new earth. You will be able to use telepathy to communicate with each other, you will have a much better understanding of each other. You will have a beautiful connecting relationship with your animals on the new earth, but you will with the other animals as well. Very different to what we experience here. It is very difficult on this planet to understand how your animal is often feeling we learn to detect their emotions through their actions, their meows or barks, their behaviors. But on New Earth, your animal will be able to tell you without speaking, of course, how they feel. What is happening? There will be so much more communication and love between the animals and the humans. It's going to be something that you'll really look forward to you'll be able to spend time with all the animals on New Earth, understanding them more, understanding their behaviours, their characteristics, the things that define them, that make them the animal they are. You will know all about and learn about each animal. So many new things for you to learn on New Earth. So much light and love, happiness, joy, fun. We are so excited for you all. So excited for what is in store for you. You could never imagine how beautiful it's going to be. Thank you. What experiences does the cat want to have on the new earth?
my cat or any cat? Um, Jen, Jen's cat. Um, we'll Jenny's cat. Yeah. Jenny's cat. Jenny's cat. Jenny's cat is looking forward to meeting all the ana other animals and spending time with them. They will be spending time in groups together, communicating with each other, enjoying each other's company, telling each other about their lives on earth. They will have so much more fun. It's very hard for them now on this planet to interact with some of the animals, but on New Earth they will be able to do that. Oh, it'll be like a picnic. They can go on a picnic together. Fun. It's going to be so much fun for them. And then they'll all enjoy the beautiful beings there as well. Mish is looking forward to that. He's looking forward. to the beautiful love and energy on New Earth. The love from the other animals. Just being able to tell his tales, tell his stories of what he's done on earth and why he came here. He knows he has so much to look forward to. That is why he is very connected to Jenny. They have a special connection. He also knows she is going to New Earth. He will be on the spaceship with her. And he will be helping some of the other animals and humans to adjust. Thank you so much. It's really intriguing. So his soul wants to graduate into the third dimension and experience the fifth dimension um, along with all the other animals. Um, it's really interesting. I guess we haven't really considered that they would want to also evolve along with, with us. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, we were also talking about um, earlier, we were talking about uh, when people still um, have their inner work to do, they have quite negative self talk and negative inner talk. Um, and they seem to be on repeat with uh, negativity in their dialogue um what advice would you like us to know about helping those people who are still in such a negative uh, mindset they need to release that negative energy that's built up in their bodies 
they need to break out of the programming, the thoughts, the fear. They're all an illusion. They don't really exist only in our minds. They are destructive, but you are doing it to yourself. Stop distracting yourselves. Sit down with yourself. You are not these thoughts. You are not any of these emotions. That is not you. You can be free from them. You can be free from them, but you have to work at it. Use your free will and ask us to help. We want to help all those who are still struggling with this. We know it's not easy for you. We know that. You can break away from these thought patterns. You will not be able to release yourself to freedom and feel the freedom that others feel if you do not take the time to work on yourself and go within. We have asked you to do this many, many times. And we will ask all those people again who are struggling with this. We love you but you really need to work hard to gain the freedom the others are receiving. Please do your inner work. We are sending you now love, light, energy, and to kick up the bum. Come on, people. We need you. We need you. You are supposed to be here to help us, to help raise this, the vibration of the planet. And we need your help also. So we are asking you now to help us, the more people we have, the faster this process will be. We have sent you all so much compassion and understanding, but it's up to you now. If you want to be free of the illusion, you need to work hard. Please do this now for us, for everyone.
everyone for Gaia so we can move this planet onwards and we can all be free. It still seems like many want things to be done for them and they don't understand that they must be doing it themselves. And so, so many people still want to hold on to their physical issues. So many people want to hold on to their emotional issues because that's a great excuse for them not to do their inner work and be self-empowered. So they love to have these excuses and reasons why they can't be balanced. Um, are they still... I want to say, are they... St- do they still think that they're being um, they just seem so self-focused that they're not even aware of their own behaviors and patterns and routines of having this negative um, approach to their own inner work. They've been told this many times by you, and yet they still choose to feel like they're the exception to the rule. When they're only fooling themselves at this point, what would you like us to know who are seeing these people in their density, um, holding on to their excuses? What is the best way for us to help them? We can send them love, but ultimately it is up to them. They have free will. It is up to them to make the choice to choose and ask for help. They have the power. They have the power to do the work. But they cannot see it. They are so used to being given the answers and told what to do. Many have lost the ability to do anything for themselves. They have difficulties using their intuition and trusting themselves. They cannot seem to grasp the concept of intuition and that self knowing that voice in your head they ignore, that voice in your head tells you so much and when it's telling you to go within, you need to take the time today to go within and release, yes, They distract themselves. They are unable. They are unable, some of them, to even see what they are doing. They are blind to it. They are just continuing on. Many think that they will gain freedom anyway. But if you don't do your inner work, you will have to do it later. So for those people who who have contracts to shift to the new earth, if they don't raise their frequency and vibration enough at the point of the shift, what's going to happen to them?
they will have to go They will have to go Some will have to some will go to healing rooms to be healed. There are some who have done some work, but then distract themselves from the things that, the big things in their life, the emotions they've held on to from the big lessons in their life. They've not been able to let those emotions release. They have held on to them for so long. They don't want to experience the trauma of that emotion again. They don't think that they will be able to deal with it. But they are much stronger than they think they are. They will be able to deal with it. It's only temporary. You must go to the depths of that emotion. Remember, it was a lesson, as hard as it was, and as hard as it may be experiencing that again. It's how you need to release. You have to feel that emotion and let it embrace you. And love it for what it has, the lesson it has given you. And then just let it go. It doesn't exist anymore. It's an illusion in your mind. It's not real anymore. But you are still holding on, please, we need you, we need you and we want you to see what you are doing to yourselves, you don't need to be this way, you have support around you all the time. You can do this. We would have been able to move this process so much quicker if more people had been able to raise their vibration. But we know it's not been easy for many of you. And we thank you so much for the work you have done. And we love you for it. But we are hanging on to the hope that the others realize that they're hanging on to something now that does not really exist. Please ask for our help and we will help you. We need this process to move as fast as possible. But there has been many distractions and delays. And we are working as hard as we can. But we also need you to work hard. 
we are so looking forward to you being able to see the beauty in your futures, as you call them. Although time is infinite, you have so much to look forward to. And all we ask is that you hold the light, spread the love, and release what no longer serves you. We have repeated this many, many times, and we will keep repeating it and hopefully we will awaken those people who are distracting themselves from the work they came here to do for us and the universe. They wanted to do this work. They wanted to graduate from this earth. They don't realize some of them how many lives they've had on this earth and what they've experienced. Remember, you have not only just been humans on this planet, you have had to be every animal, everything, everything on this earth. It's a school, it's a graduation. They are lessons for you to evolve. We want you to graduate. You can do this. You've come so far now, don't, don't distract yourself. We, are cheering you on, guys. We are cheering you on. You are almost there. And we are so excited. I think we have got a little bit off track here. Sorry, but we want you to know how hard you've worked to get as far as you have come now. And it's just a little bit further. So apply yourself. It's like that, oh, that last hundred yards of the marathon when you feel you just cannot go any further. Think, oh my God, I have to stop. I can't do it. But then everyone on the side is going, come on, you've only got 100 yards to go. You're nearly at the finish line. Well, that's you guys. So come on. Come on, apply yourself. Love yourself and release. You're nearly there. Thank you so much. I think when people know they're in this marathon and they know the finishing point and the destination, they stop. I know many people who have done sessions who have been told that they're going to the new earth and then they stop doing their inner work to get there and they don't understand because they have this entitlement attitude and arrogance about them thinking that it's a given 
when we keep hearing in other sessions, it's still a work in progress and they were given best case scenarios if they had continued on. It is a concern for many who see these people who know the truth of the new earth and choose to stop and stall themselves, which then impact others. So I'm assuming that this is applying um, the information that you've given us today and the guidance that you've given us today to encourage those, to remind those to do their own work and continue on um, being honest with what is holding them back. Yes, that is correct. They need to be honest with themselves. Because there really isn't much longer to go. Things are moving quickly, but the ascension has been slowed because of the lack of trust in us that some people have also, not only in themselves, but in us, because they cannot see us, feel us. They think, hmm, probably don't exist. And then they just don't trust themselves. But we're here. We're always here and we're always with you. Just believe and allow us to help you. And we will. We're not judging. We are just coaxing, trying to coax you because we need your assistance. We need your assistance now to get this process moving along. And there are many beings depending on you. We can only do so much. We need you to do the rest. Thank you so much. Um, yes, we hope that this will give them encouragement and motivation to understand it is their responsibility to do their inner work and to not have entitlement to a given. It is ongoing everyday work that must be empowering yourselves and not enabling others. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, finally, we did want to be able to connect in, please, with Mother Mary. We would like to hear her message for humanity at this time. Yes, I am here. And I am very pleased to be here to speak with you today. I have been longing for this moment. I am watching over all of you. And I send my love and my gratitude to all of you for the work you are doing. 
This is such a beautiful time for me to see. I am so feeling so happy for you all and for the collective. Remember. The inner work you do is not just for you, it is for all the collectives. Everyone needs to move on to the higher dimensions. And you are all part of doing that work in this wondrous time. I want you to know There is so much joy and excitement going on in the background. Everybody is working so hard. And everybody here, every consciousness here, sends you love and support. There is so much Love here where I am. I no longer feel the despair and worry. For the people I once lived with. We are free here from all that you experience on earth. There has always been much sadness in my heart for the corruption and destruction. of our planet Earth. It was very, although I had joyful times in my life, I could see the despair 
and the anguish, the cruelty. It was like a blanket at times. It was so hard for any of us, including Jesus, to try and convince the people that there was something else to live for. They didn't need to wallow in all that despair. We worked hard to try and help those who would listen to us. We know it is hard for you there now to try and spread the good news, the good things, when people are so locked in fear. and emotions that drag them down so much. I am so sorry. For all the people who have suffered I never, ever wanted to see this, but I saw it with my own two eyes and it has continued on for so long. But now there is hope and I am so happy. I am so happy for you all and I want to send you my love and my support. I am feeling very emotional through this vehicle. There were times when I sat and cried for what was happening to humanity, as did my son Jesus. <laughs> but he continued on with strength to try and spread love and truth. Please know that we are helping you in any way we can. I am honoured to be able to help in this situation as there is so much to look forward to. I honour and bless you always and thank you from the bottom of my heart for the work you are doing. <laughs> I will recede now and I thank you 
for listening to my message today and I leave you all with more love than you have ever imagined and my utmost blessings to you all dear ones thank you so much for your insight and love and blessings and we understand the the challenge of observing people who are struggling so much and choosing to struggle and suffer. Um, it is a hard one to sit and watch when it is really needless in terms of um, having faith and trust provides us that profound inner peace that removes our density and reactions to challenges that really don't serve us. The truth will always come out and I hope that all can be liberated from the entrapment and disempowerment that they are reminding and repeating and telling themselves in a negative way because it is no longer serving them. So thank you for your message. Um, I'll ask the subconscious to let me know how Jenny's body is doing. Is, there, is the healing and the balancing complete for her vehicle? Yes. We have balanced her body. She has collected a bit of density in her chest area from some denseness during the session as she did last time, but we will help her to remove that as quickly as possible. Well, thank you so much. I do appreciate that and um, would love to send her a big burst of energy um, that she can enjoy if that is appropriate for her subconscious. Oh, absolutely. We're going to send her a boost of love and energy. She She's feeling it now. And we are releasing that denseness from her chest. She is starting to feel much lighter, much lighter. This can happen in sessions. The vehicle can collect a bit of denseness but it's nothing to worry about. When, when Mother Mary came in, even though she is an advanced being, but when she comes in through the vehicle, she collects, which she feels that density again of the third dimension, is that obviously that's a part of the agreement of them coming in, but it almost allow, it also allows them to feel the emotions that they that they once were used to when they were having their physical bodies. Is that the denseness that is left and felt um, for the vehicle? Yes, that is the denseness, the denseness Mother Mary felt going back to those days. She felt so much despair 
but so and the vehicle vehicle can collect that denseness but that is all right because we can help clear that it feels like um well thank you it does feel like for many who try to share the truth of love and light throughout history it was such a challenging experience it didn't seem like it was many successful ones <laughs> um as humanity still chooses to be in this empowerment yes the manipulation and control has not helped people many people have not used their intuition or free will they have not believed in themselves or trusted themselves enough they have been led away from themselves and distracted from themselves by other agendas and these agendas became so deep seated that many could not break out of it and it became reality for them for them that is their world that is their life they are unable to think for themselves anymore they believe they have to be told by others with the wrong intentions as we know as to what to do how to behave how to think they are so locked into that they have been unable to escape it they have some of them have no no connection with their own minds and bodies their minds are controlled by others and they allow this with their free will or the mind control to take them over they have given their free will to let this happen and unless they reconnect with themselves they will never be able to see clearly unfortunately they don't know what they are doing and they are belittling others who have broken free from the programming on this earth calling them out calling them all sorts of names they believe in what they believe in they believe it is the truth and it is very difficult for them to break away from that these are some of the people that will continue on in 3d planets until they learn to think for themselves and stop judging others 
and judging themselves. They have much to learn. It is not, we are not criticizing, we are just telling this so people know that these are lessons for you all to learn. And they have not yet mastered these lessons. So there is no judgment. They will just continue. Continue with more lives until they have learned their lesson and then they can choose what they want to do from there. We have no judgment of any of you. It's all lessons for you to learn. And this is how you will evolve to higher dimensions, learning your lessons and mastering them. It seems to be now that those people who claim that they're being judged or criticised don't like their lack of accountability that they've done on their own inner work. So they go into victim mode of being judged when it's merely an observation. They haven't done their inner work. It's obvious they are still blocked and willing and happy to be blocked because of their choices they're making. But yet they go into victim mode again by saying that they've been judged by others when even you can in high dimensional Things that you are, you can observe people's behavior and state it as their behavior. They don't like being called out for their behavior. So, therefore, they will be blaming others. Or even those people who say, the devil made me do it, or something else, they're constantly accusing others of their predicament and their situations that they find themselves unhappy with. Yes. Many people here believe they are victims. They create the victim mode themselves. By not being able to release and see the bigger picture, many people feel they are victims on planet Earth. We wish more people knew that all your life experiences are simply lessons. You are never a victim. These people cannot take responsibility for themselves. It is very sad for us to see this. They need to really take responsibility and realize they cannot blame others for any situation they have ever experienced because it is never anyone else's fault. You yourself create and manifest these situations in your own mind and body. 
and these can appear as a total disconnect in your thinking, physical symptoms that you will spend endless hours getting treatments and medications for. You have created everything you feel of your own accord and you are able to release all of this yourself. You Sorry. can. Sorry. You can rid yourself of your physical ailments. your cancer, your endless mind, thinking, controlling, destructive thoughts that you have in your head. And we've told you this before. Nature will help you also. People are not spending time in nature like they used to. They are so connected to devices and disconnected from themselves. They need to reconnect with Mother Earth with the trees, with the plants, with the birds. The Mother Earth will give you beautiful negative ions, energized up through your body and the positive ions you collect from the Wi-Fi, the phones, the TVs and all the devices can be, can flow freely out of your body into Mother Earth. This will also help thin your blood, heal your organs, and heal your mind. The benefits are amazing. And we have asked you to do this many times as well. That is why sick animals like to lie on the dirt or grass. They can transmute the positive bad ions from their body and receive the good negative ions from Mother Earth to help heal them. We can all do this. And you can all feel the benefits if you do it each day, even just for 
a short period of time. Thank you so much for the great reminders. I know anyone that is still feeling a little bit dense or stuck uh, will take that great advice and recommendation and be responsible with their inner work and how they feel and how they think. So thank you so much for the information you've provided for us today. Um, out of curiosity. You're very welcome. Thank you. Out of curiosity. Is there anything that's going to happen to awaken people more profoundly to, um, say, control systems? Is there anything that is going to get people's attention to wake up? Jenny is just... seeing the laser event for some when they find out it is not a natural event but others will awaken at various different in your talk times. They have been contracted to awake when certain other things happen. Some of them are just minor things. But at that time, some will awaken. But for many it will take a bigger event for them to realize that something is wrong and we know that some will not awaken at all because it is in their contract they did not want to awaken so it could be just a simple trigger for someone in the flow of events that will happen because they have in their contract wanted to awaken at that time. Some have wanted to enjoy through their 3D life a bit longer and not awaken until further on towards the end of this event. But it will The laser will awaken some because it is man made, it is not natural. People are used to natural disasters, they see them all the time, and many just say, Yep, that's normal. We always have those, so it needs something totally different. Something that will really make them think, wow, we've not had seen this before. What's going on here? So we are hoping that those people will awaken at that time. Do you get a sense it's just one laser strike? Well, 
we're getting that. There is one large laser strike, but there could be other smaller ones occurring as a build up to it. We haven't. Uh, <coughs> we haven't made the final decision. Thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate the insight. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you.